Well, our reporter Lemohang Foke joins us on the phone line from Church Square in Pretoria. A very good morning to you, Lemohang. Thank you so much for joining us. Can you give us updates on what the mood is like currently at Church Square? We do know that um, um, Julius Malema has arrived and um, other leaders of the opposition parties. Yes, definitely, uh, Gurape, the other leaders of uh, other political parties uh, have uh, been introduced and, uh, you know, they had uh, short messages to share with the marchers here this morning, as well as uh, Julius Malema, who, uh, while sealed uh, the last bit of the uh, introduction program um, for the morning, and um, a very strong uh, uh, message coming from uh, CIC of uh, EFF, uh, Julius Malema, talking about uh, how there should be maximum discipline as they conduct their march this morning to the union building and saying that uh, very, very strongly uh, that uh, one route will be used by all marches and that uh, should anyone deviate from those routes or should anyone be uh, uh, ill-disciplined or behave in a manner that will endanger anyone, they will have to, uh, to suffer the consequences and also that uh, the... Uh, political parties that are present here and represented here will not be held liable. Um, uh, we also did say that, uh, you know, uh, given uh, that uh, the EFF members in their t-shirts here today seem to be the dominating number amongst other political parties, he uh, was encouraging the marchers to come together and reflect all the different uh, political parties that are here today, as it is not about the EFF only, it's about all the other political parties that are here today. But I must say also, can I say, uh, we have been told that at 12, the march will be starting, and uh, from what I can see right now, a lot of people are starting to depart, making their way towards the starting point where the march will start onto the Union building. Well, Mohang, uh, we do know that the march is starting at 12. So how many people have gathered around you? Is the crowd growing or is it still withering? Uh, yes, well, uh, the number is uh, quite, uh, it has been growing over the hours since this morning when we came in. Um, we're seeing a lot of uh, these people who are um, supporters of the different political parties, um, as well as, you know, people that are just, uh, you know, bystanders and just observing from a distance and they're not necessarily part of uh, the movement here today. So we can say quite a number of people, but uh, the question is uh, who is for the march and who is just, uh, you know, standing by from the side and just observing what is currently going on. Well, Mohang, we are actually getting your live visuals. We can see that the numbers have increased. And as you mentioned earlier on, the red color of the EFF members actually does outnumber the DA supporters as well as other opposition party supporters. Well, would you say this is more of an EFF march? Yes, uh, uh, definitely. Uh, that is something that even, uh, you know, the chief in command of the EFF, Julius Malema, had even spoken on. Uh, saying that, uh, you know, it's, uh, uh, it is quite important to have all the other colors uh, come in and blend in with the EFF, seeing as the EFF is the majority of the people that are here today. Well, do we see them making any progress to start the march now, or are they still just uh, listening to EFF leader Julius Malema speak? Well, um, uh, the crowd was told uh, to wait until exactly 12 uh, on, the dot, on the dot. Uh, until they make their way to the union building. So right now, you know, it's just uh, small numbers just moving around and some, uh, you know, uh, probably even uh, starting on their own. But uh, a majority of the people that are here are just basically waiting for 12 so that they can embark on this march. Well, Mohang, I'm seeing uh, more people than uh, police vehicles than I saw earlier on. Are the police perhaps also taking their positions in order to escort the marchers to uh, the union building's destination? Yes, uh, Kira, definitely we've seen uh, quite a bit of a movement from uh, the SAPS and uh, Metro uh, Police uh, on this side. We've also seen uh, two helicopters hovering around the uh, church square. Um, uh, and uh, we heard uh, yesterday from the uh, South African Police Service saying that uh, they will deploy accordingly. So as the numbers increase, we expect there to be proper uh, measures in place to ensure the safety of the people that are here and also the people that are probably affected by the mosque that are not necessarily taking part in the mosque. We're talking about the businesses around as well. And um, yeah, Gura uh, that's what uh, our observation has been so far. Well, Mohan, talking to some of the people on the ground and actually observing what is around you, do you ha is there any hints that this protest could go south and become more violent? Because we do know with these marches, it is a quite a fine line between having a peaceful march and then also having a vandalism and violence in these marches. Yes, uh, definitely. 
Stefan, you know, that can also be questioned uh, given the number of people that are present here. Um, uh, with the South African police service also on standby, we're hoping that they will be able to contain the crowd. But, uh, you know, we've seen how these uh, marches tend to get out of hand, especially in Pretoria. Um, we've seen how uh, people tend to um, hijack the forces and, you know, um, a lot of the violence as well erupting. And that's something that uh, Julius Malema also spoke of. And I think uh, the reason why he spoke of that was also just, you know, to put it out there to the people uh, in case there are some that are intending, uh, you know, to push their own agendas in terms of, of violence and, 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 you know, vandalism, uh, just to be, uh, just to, to, to do the right thing and um, not to involve on anything but uh, the idea of the day. Well, I'm going to ask you just to stay on the phone line with us as we cross over now to our other reporter, Ntlantla Jela, who is in Johannesburg. A very good morning to you, Ntlantla. Thank you so much for joining us. Can you just give us an update on the, the bus strikes and how it's been affecting marches and probably uh, po protesters trying to get to uh, the church square this morning? <laughs> 